Okay guys, here we go. Officially on my way to Berlin. See you guys soon. Hey guys, Adrian here at the Zurich airport. Uh, ready to fly over to Berlin and yeah, looking forward. Good morning. I am at the airport, Keflavik in Iceland. It is, what, 5.30 a.m. and I am just waiting to port my flight, heading over to Berlin. On my way to Berlin, see you soon. Weekend starts on Tuesday this week. I'm heading straight from school to the airport. Gotta catch a ride to Berlin where I can catch up with the Food Spring team and a bunch of other athletes. It's gonna be an awesome week. We pick up the athletes um, today. So I think you guys know that Patrick Wellner is coming, Lindy Barber is coming. Annie Thorstad actually comes tomorrow morning, so she flies right in the morning to arrive, and she will arrive directly to the shooting. Then Jonny Koski is arriving and Adrian Mundweiler. So all of these athletes are coming today, so we picked them up. It's pretty cool. Um, I know Adrian since about two and a half years. I actually reached out to him the first time when he was about to qualify for the regionals um, two years ago um, because we were looking for some um, athletes for food spring and he immediately said yes. Are you planning on building up something here? Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. With you? What is that? So I met him there the first time and then we had such a great time and then right after that um, I got in contact with him and then yeah, we took it from there and now he's with Food Springs. Yeah, cool. there's someone left up my breakfast no, 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 no. and my lunch. No, no, no. I got you something for breakfast, okay? That's not my... No, 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 no. Okay, lunch we can talk about this, but breakfast you got something. Choco croissant. It was actually good. Technically, my watch says I got two hours of sleep. <laughs> I use that app, which tells you like how much you sleep, and at the bottom, it's probably pretty pissed. Like yeah, Patrick, it's, it's, it's not so good it's right not now. So good, but it's all good. I think I got more than that. Um, so he's hungry. I'm hungry. And we need to stay here anyways because Lindy is coming in like 45 minutes. Done. So okay, cool. Um, there's. Like I don't a, want you to start. I don't want to kill your games. <laughs> he, did, he didn't know for me great. I did! Oh, you just didn't get lunch! Come on! <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Is it the same time as being here? Yeah. Yes, yeah. There's no one, time just below 1 o'clock? Yeah, yeah. This is a typical uh, Berlin sausage kind of style with okay, sweet. Of tomato sauce and curry up on top. Awesome. It's a. Uh, yeah, it smells like curry in here. This is exactly. why the German uh, overrated. This is why they're overrated. Yes. <laughs> They eat the stuff like this. Is that just mayo? It's just mayo. Yes. That's a massive plate of mayo. <laughs> also his like clues all the time in which are actually no clues. Oh, I love that. Everyone I love that people still try to get. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, you're never gonna I like get to it. read the comments. Oh, I always yeah. do. It's so funny. When they're like, yeah, on Wikipedia, this fish means this because yeah, then right? it's that. And then and they go so deep, like <laughs> so far down the rabbit hole. And you're like, dude, I don't know how you came up with that, but it's awesome. People are like, oh, this book was published in like 1942, so the rep scheme is gonna be 1942. Like it's gonna be a 19 minute AMRAP. And like that, and you're like, dude, what the hell are you? And then when he explains that, he's like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. What do you think about the new open standard for the burpees? There is no open new standard yet. No, I was at HQ the other week and I asked them about it and they said that there's no official standard yet. The only people who know apparently what it is are Dave and Paws and they ah, haven't okay. told anybody. So it could be that when the obels are coming, everyone can do the burpees however they want to. Not likely, like there'll be probably some change, okay. but all these people who are like giving tips on how to like meet the new standard are just making it up because there is no new standard yet. Okay. They don't know what it is because <laughs> no one knows what it is. Okay, I don't get the dumbbell <laughs> standard. It's, it's to avoid soft lockout and also it's safety. Because a lot of people were doing this, like coming over top and just passing like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I love so it. you're not straining your elbow. <laughs> it's it's that like when you do your hand change, it has to happen below your eyes, basically. So the dumbbells, uh, the hand can go higher than your eyes. When you start your change. Yeah. So like if I started dropping it here and then catching it here, like that doesn't count. Oh, okay. Like you'd want to be like, once you come to here, then you can do whatever change. But it's so that people aren't dropping it above their head too, right? Last year, like with this power cleans, oh, I want to see some videos of the guys. Like, oh, for sure. You know, like, but they took the snatch. And the what was out. the, yeah, they took the snatch one. It was just like I the easiest like the to the last touch. three years, they've, the video request has always been the, my worst workout. Really? Yeah. And like, I'm like, okay, I'll give you that one if you want. Like, <laughs> it's prime, brutal. <laughs> 
But uh, I don't know. I don't like retests. It's stupid. One of the reasons I like Oxford is because they get to do something different all the time. Oh, okay. But I think it'd be cool to test the same workout with a heavier weight. Yeah, okay. Or like they did like it at the, at the games. Yeah, so like I would say like there was one years ago that was like the five push press, 10 deadlift, 15 box jump. Yeah. And I think that the the best scores that year are about as, fa as, as fast as you could possibly do that workout. Yeah. But it was 115, I think. Like do that workout again at 155. Okay. And, yeah. see, and see if people do the same score with 40 more pounds. Yeah. Like this year, did it, it, people who did the, the lift off, yeah. the lift off workout was the exact same as last year's. This year, did not zero difference. The entire liftoff no. was the exact same, which is just like silly to me. Like, hello. Hey. There he is. Look at all that facial hair. How are you? So you too. Nice. We're in your home country now. Yes. So excited. So excited. Me too. <laughs> is it just me? Uh, yeah, here? Uh, two, we've already two brought two athletes to oh, okay, right, because right. otherwise we would have needed to wait because we will wait now for like 45 minutes, an hour, drink okay. coffee to wait for Yone, Perfect. and then we drive to the apartment. Okay. Okay. It's like kind of annoying how important it actually is. Right? Honestly. Honestly? Because I'm not that good at it in reality. And I'm like trying to figure out how to get better, but also like the whole talking to the camera thing makes me very uncomfortable. Like I'm not very good at it. Yeah. I'm much better at like being interviewed <laughs> yeah, than I am with thing. like talking to myself. And I'm like, I know that there are people that are watching this, so yeah. it's not like no one's gonna watch it and it's just like me being a loser, yeah. but it's still like is a weird thing that I've been encouraged to do. Yeah a lot more the often and I problem. haven't really gotten very good at it. I've known Catcher for a long time, so I think, if I'm not wrong, her first games was 2012, my first games was 2013. So we were there yeah. together in 2013, and, and this was before she was won. That was when I was an individual, okay. yeah. So her and I both missed because of the legless rope climb event oh, in 2014. So, same story. so we had like commiserating pain. I just didn't come back to win the games, but so in 2015, we were talking at our, uh, the athlete briefing thing about how good it just felt just to be there because we were both in the same place and yeah. how we were excited to both be back together. And could, and even though it's pain, but you could you had someone to share it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We knew exactly how the other one felt because yeah. we had just been there in 13. We had missed it from the same heart-wrenching, terrible cry on the competition floor pain and then came back in 15. And then so it was so cool in 15 to watch her win. Yeah. And I was not I was not in the final heat, so I wasn't out there with her, but it was really fun the whole weekend long to just watch her. So I've known her like actually known her since 2013 cool. for a long time. Yon Nikolski. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna say all it's week. Pretty good. Yon Nikolski. Hi. I don't know if we've actually met today. No, I'm Lindsay. Nice to meet you. Yona. Been practicing your name since I haven't seen Yona. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So for the open workouts, we all, well, so our boys go. For us, it's released on Thursday night. So they do the workout immediately after the announcement. Okay. So they just do one run Thursday night. Um, the girls, I, I can't work out that late. I'm an early riser and I like don't work out super well. I mean, it's 8.30 p.m. before they get started, before they even know what the workout is, get everything set up. So it could be even later than that, depending on how long it is. The girls usually get together and do it Friday morning. And then depending on how it goes on those two days, if you feel like you want to redo it, then Monday, the first thing you do is always the redo day is Monday of whatever it is. So we are still doing stuff together and we're doing the same workouts and we're competing against each other or we're doing intervals type stuff. So it's like, mm -hmm. you go, I go. So, or we're still in teams of four and you just have a four person rotation through however many intervals of a certain workout. But through the open, because of the way it's structured still, we still have to do pretty individualistic okay. things. Okay. Yeah, I've been competing five years now. So I was 19 when I was at the games the first time. So you. So I started doing CrossFit at maybe 18. You know, there's, soon there will be people who started doing CrossFit at the yeah, age of 10 or yeah. Yeah. 11 or 12. So This is coming now. Yeah. That's going to be cool to see how much the, or if the level is going to you know, still like rise or if the people will you know, perform much better when they, they have so much more sort of like background. Yeah, but the people that are starting now when volume is a necessity, when you don't have a choice but to do a crap ton of volume because that's what you're going to get, used to be, I mean, you could you could get away with one hour and a half session a day for five, six days a week and still be good enough, but now that's just not the case. Like, you have to do so much volume and there's so much work to be done that I'm interested to see the the life of soccer athletes, too. Like, how long well, people actually people last. people are getting a bit smarter. And I hope so, yeah. Which if I'm, you compare it to five or ten years ago, it was just like 
speed go down. in, do the hard workout, <laughs> like die, and then you're basically done. Now it's yeah. a bit more. Well, it's there's fine. a bit more like science behind it. I guess, yeah. So. Hey, how's the flight? Good. Good? Yeah, super good. Are you holding down the board here? Oh, I just had such a nap. Okay. <coughs> Watched the new doc. Did like. Oh, you, you've seen it already? Yeah. Oh, was it cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool. They do a good job. They do they make. Do um, I don't even know what his name is. Whatever his name is, like a huge Ricky? Bag. Yeah, Ricky, Ricky, that's what his name is. Um, I just watched the trailer and I didn't realize that they. When did they do the interview with him? Apparently. At that point, like, they knew at HQ that, like, he was a kid that tested positive. And they interviewed him anyway? he didn't know yet. And they interviewed him. No. Yeah. So that's where they got good footage from. Yeah. I was wondering, I was like, was that before the games? Like, so, how did they I guess get that? he was just, like, asking such pointed questions, and he would, like, say certain things, and they're like, whoa. Dude. Oh, man. But anyway. So it makes the documentary really good. Well, they fully address it. Like, they don't try to hide it. Which that's is what, I didn't know like, if they were going to step that's what sign you it. Want. Yeah. They were just gonna like pretend like nothing ever yeah, happened. Yeah, absolutely. They take it head on, which is sweet. Uh, they were asking me afterwards if they, if I thought they were like hard enough on them. I'm like, fucking yeah, like it's fine. They, and they don't like they don't blow it up out of proportion. Like they like they, like this is what happened, and they kind of present the facts, and then it's, that's it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like he, he's already been caught and banned and whatever and stripped. Like you don't need to drag him through the mud more than that. Right. right? Like, so like but I think they were taking down in the do? video as well, like a lot. I've seen it. Yeah. You've seen the whole video already? Yeah. Are they going to... Yeah, like it's it's not... I mean, already in the... I, I would say that they're, it's not overly aggressive, like it's not like... But they mentioned it. Yeah, oh yeah. They, they fully address the whole thing. Okay. And it's like, yeah, they do a good job of it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought too. They do a good job of it, but... Yeah. But it's cool. That's a huge theme in the, in the doc, so... Huh. They do a good job. That's cool. That's fun that you got to see it though. Yeah, it was fun, and I think because they kind of all were like, oh, do you want to see it the one day, and we were like, sure. we went to Mariah Moore's place, and they oh, just yeah. like, the whole media team came, and we just like, ordered food in, and then just watched it that night, and I think it was the first time they had watched it on like, a real system as well, Yeah. and not just behind a computer, like, editing for content yeah. and things, so. That's really cool. It was fun. Is it good? Oh yeah, it's good. When does it actually come out? 23rd, I think, March. Good. I think we try to get food. Okay, jump into the pool of food. the apartment. Food. Jump into the pool, yeah, okay. Let's yeah, fill our bellies and then drown. No, apparently the water is pretty warm, so. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's just like a spa. Yeah, like, like a nice bath hanging in there. Don't even have to shower tonight, that means. Vegan cave and burger. Vegan cave burger. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Duh. 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 <laughs> Patrick? Yeah. What's your order? Of Dutch? I got the Don Carlos. <laughs> that's wait, that's an easy one. That, that's too easy. That's an easy one. Oh. <laughs> Say it too. That's why I got it. <laughs> it's fucking epic. Awesome. It's fucking cool. Yeah. They have you don't. In Spain, in Madrid. Yeah. Yeah, the, the after parties, the regionals are always fucking fun. Regionals, yeah. Yeah, regionals are fucking good. Really Games, I don't know. I never. Once I had fun, that was maybe. 2015. You ended up in street club. No, not a street club. Well, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I remember I was wrestling with uh, Danny Nichols in a, it was a con quarters, uh, <laughs> like a room. There was probably like 30 people there. <laughs> then suddenly Danny just started wrestling me, and he's like, well, like 100 kg. Then we just wrestled, and she 
I usually go away after like for like a week and do something, but I have to be in clinic treating patients the Monday after regionals this year, so I like have to go straight home. It's just, uh, usually do something at the games so though, stay for a few days. I got wrecked last year at the games. My brother, my friends, and I went to that road bar that they took over, which is pretty cool. And we went and had drinks there for like a little while and then ended up at like the main after party later, but we were fucked. My younger brother had one of my jerseys and sold it to a guy that night. Got super drunk, didn't remember doing it, but like sold my jersey to a guy for like a hundred bucks or something like that. Like at, at the bar and traded the guy's shirts. <laughs> <laughs> like, <coughs> fucking ridiculous. Spent like an hour the next day looking for his shirt because he's like, didn't remember doing it. Nice and cozy with my Valentine's Day, Dionne. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could do better. Uh, how excited are you that we uh, spend a Valentine's night together? Always the yeah. best Valentine's ever. Yeah. Sorry, Emilio. <laughs> He's mine tonight. He did a show like years and years ago for like kids. For kids, yeah. Um, for like just basically teaching science concepts for kids. So I think most people in North America, when you were a kid going up in school, like if you're like my age or Lindy's age, yeah. you would have seen like had a science class where you watched a video or a movie oh, okay. that was just like Bill Nye. But okay. Bill smart guy. The Does a lot of like, he's an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> Did they chant afterwards? Yeah. yeah. We watched song. a lot of Bill Nye. I do. I make breakfast here for you guys, like at eight thirty ish. Okay. Um. Then we got Annie. Then we drive to the shooting. At the same gym we were at today. At the same gym we were at today. Okay. And then after the shooting, we drive directly to our training session, which is a swimming session tomorrow. And then um, after that, we go to a typical German restaurant. And then the day is probably it's like literally over. So okay. Good night, Good night guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Wait, what do you want? It sound piece in guitar. Is it the camera here? Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. Good night. Good night. Good night.